So it's going to sound like this. And obviously, if you're part of the course, you'll be able to download the patch with this. So you can have a look at the patch and then really follow along with the tutorial as well. Okay, guys and girls, in this video, we're going to make the dusty sub bass sound, which just gives you that big fat underlying sub bass where you've got lots of melody. You don't want a big in your face bass line, just want something to put weight under there, but still a nice, that dusty feel to it. So let's give that a go. The way that we're going to do it, pretty simple to do and um, we do need to start off with something like a sine wave so uh, and make one this way so we can go we can just go into the wave editor here let's just grab this here so the grid down to two and two this here this here sine wave is created okay i wanted to wobble about ever so slightly so we're going to put it in mono takes poly away. I'm going to put legato on. I'm going to put the portamento up a touch here. Okay, we're going to add some extra harmonics into this sub by going into effects. I'm going to put the hyperdimension on. Crank up the detune slightly here. Put the unison just down to two though. Take the rate down a bit. A little bit up on the mix. Put distortion on. Switch it to diode. Switch it to down sample. Just want a little bit in there, around 18 to 19 percent. Can take it a bit further and then bring the mix back. Get that sample noise at the top. I prefer to do this. Have it around here. In the matrix, we're going to take source envelope two. Destination, global, master tuning. Just give that a little bit this way. At the minute, it's making the pitch go all over the place, so we need to grab the decay control and bring that right down. So we need to grab the decay and bring that right down. Super short there. Okay, we're going to switch on the noise oscillator. Organics, we've got hum. We're actually going to pitch it to the sample. I'm going to put one shot mode on. Dial the level back a bit. Just so we got some grit in there. Now we're going to use the filter distortion. Pop it on something like multi. Do like the low pass 12. Drive it. Balance the taste. If you don't like the hum noise in there. Check out 
some of the other options. Analog's got some good options in it as well. J60, for example, nice bit of sample noise in that. That's how you get that nice moving sub bass just to sit below pretty much any old melody. Hope that video was helpful for you. I'll see you guys in the next one.